you to Kenton with the Wildcats here in our preview show. The Kenton Moose Family Center 428 sponsoring this one as we get ready with the WBL champs. To my right is Colin Blackford, senior wide receiver. Larry Wells, the left tackle. And then Colin Stoller down in the end, another senior wide receiver. Colin Blackford, let's start with you. How have things gone this summer? Another successful uh, round of seven on sevens, it sounds like. Yeah, we, we did good over the summer. I mean, seven on sevens are a lot of fun. It's not just about getting better, but just being around each other, becoming better friends and getting closer. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, I know that was something Coach Mock really valued, going to different places and mm -hmm. spending time at universities and stuff. Where were some of your travels this year? Uh, we went to Toledo. We went to Saginaw Valley up in Michigan. We went down to Hoover, Alabama. Those are a few of them. What's that Alabama tournament like? Did so well last year, eighth this year, uh, best of the country, right? Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. A lot of you get to see a lot of good defenses out there. I mean, a lot of man to man, so makes you better. Make sure you get off the ball. Seven on sevens for a left tackle. What do you get out of these tournaments, Larry? I mean, I know there's lineman challenges that happen, but you know, what can you get better at in the summer at those type of things? Uh, it's fun for us too to go there and just watch all our teammates compete and get better and. A few of them, they have a lineman challenge, so we actually get to go and compete ourselves. What What is the lineman challenge? Take us through what happens. Um, in Dublin, we do a tire pull. We uh, Each man grabs the side of the tire, and you pull and pull and pull, and whoever drags the other person across the line wins. And then we do a tug of war, and then we do some agility kind of type stuff like uh, we uh, run up and down, and that's about it. We've got three linemen returning for Kenton. You guys pretty strong again this year? Oh, yeah, we're going to be pretty good. All right, Colin Stoller, a couple new quarterbacks in the mix with uh, Grant Sherman headed up to Toledo. How are those guys doing? Uh, you know, they're young, but, I mean, Trent's really done a great job, especially throughout the summer, looking at some great defenses down in Alabama and Saginaw and stuff like that. But uh, they're doing a really good job as being as young as they are. How much do you think things change once you put the lines in there and it's no longer seven on sevens, but the pass rush is coming a little, a little more fierce? Uh, I, th I think he sees how much how different it is okay. compared to a seven on seven. Uh, bringing that our D line towards him. I mean, <laughs> it, he we got a bunch of big guys, so I mean, he's he's getting used to it though. Defending WBL champs is that kind of the first thing you guys are looking for, or is it just cold water right now? Uh, it's just one game at a time. Okay. So it's looking at our scrimmage right now. So. Well, there you go. They're getting ready for the scrimmages. Yeah. Got a few of those coming up, and then cold water's the opener, and we will have that one for you. WOSN week number one. When we return, more on the Kenton Moose Family Center 428 preview show. Coach Fackler stops by along with some more of the players here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up in Kenton, presented by Kenton Moose Family Center 428. Joined now by head coach Brent Fackler on the end, Travis Downing, safety senior right to my right, and Tristan Reichel there for the middle linebacker, senior as well in the center. Guys, how has camp been uh, going so far this year? Pretty intense. Um, coach Fackler's first year coaching, and everybody just really wants to push it even harder because of that. Right, the big change, Coach Mock leaving after 31 seasons. But Coach fackler has been around for a while, so this is about as smooth as a transition as can, can be, right? Yeah, uh, hasn't changed much. A few things here and there. New defensive coordinator, of course, new offensive coordinator, but things are still going real smooth. Everything looks real good right now. And Coach, what have you seen this summer and into the first week of camp? Are you impressed with the guys so far, everybody working hard? Oh, yeah, we have a great group of seniors. Uh, these, this group is trying to work as hard as last year's senior group, which was an excellent leadership group. And I think these guys are just as – they've got that ability, um, and I think they're going to be just as good leadership-wise. Everybody's working their butt off. I mean, it's a, it's a great, great situation right now. Yeah, that's great because you're replacing a great senior class. And Noah Furbish was a linebacker. He's headed to Michigan. What did you learn from Noah now that you're taking over in a linebacker position? Um, Noah's toughness and physical physicality is the big thing that he always had, and last like looking at back at last year to this year, that's the big thing I'm working on. And Travis, last year you guys undefeated in the regular season, and then you fall in the state semis. How much does that motivate you to to get back there, knowing that you can accomplish it? Um, it motivates you a lot. You push yourself that much extra. If you ever think about taking an extra break, ever not doing a rep, you just think. 
is Clinton Massey doing it? They knocked you out. They shouldn't have. Freshman year, we lost in the state championship, and just you just want to get to that top spot. It just makes you push that extra step. Yeah, Coach, you've seen these guys have been there before. How much of a difference do you think that makes when it gets to week 12 and 13 and 14, having that experience and maybe coming up a little short, knowing that they can drive to get better? Well, I know these guys know how to win. You know, both these guys have been on, on the team that, that was there last year and played vital roles. And I think all of our kids are there. When we go to seven on sevens, you can see it. When the intensity level uh, picks up at those, you can see how their I've been there uh, attitude is, and they know that they can win and even put in dire uh, circumstances and adversity, they can come through it and get by. Tristan, what are some ways that the seniors have taken on a leadership role early in the camp here? Are there specific examples of you working with younger players? Um, we're working with younger players, but the big thing that I see is nobody's trying to make themselves that one guy. It's just, it's just a collective whole as a leadership for this class. As is last year, you had Matt Barr, and he was that's who everybody looked up to. And he's going to play at Kent State. And how many seniors are on this roster? Um, 18, I believe. 18. Are you guys a tight knit group? Yeah, we've. I moved here. Me and my brother moved here in eighth grade. They were obviously co real close before we moved here. We became close, and then we got Tristan, who was a big, big advantage for our defense, and he's really become part of like the family. We're all family, not just the seniors, but the younger kids are part of that family now too. And where do you think that bond starts? Is it in Pee Wee's and or sevens on seven on sevens in the summers? And how does it kind of come together for your senior year? Well, I think when you put in four years here, I mean, lifting every morning, you get kids coming over to your house during the day. I mean, other sports, I mean, you just, everybody knows everybody, and that's why we get along. Taking a look at the schedule, of course, cold water week one, that's a big game. Coach, what are you doing to prepare your guys for such a big opening week? And I know you have, you, it's, it's always on the schedule that way, but is it something that goes into the fall in the uh, preseason rather that prepares you for that well I think uh, all of our games are important but the first one's always the most important and then the next one after that Coldwater is a very talented uh, team and we've had a great great uh, series with them and we know that we better bring our f best game on that first game and then build on that after because you know if we're not ready you know they they can take care of a team pretty easily and uh, you know, I think a lot of our focus is towards that game right now just because it's our first and our next game. And uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll be ready when, when, uh, when the time comes, but uh, we know we've got a great opponent to face when we play Coldwater. Week one, you can see it on WOSN. Tristan, you've got a scrimmage coming up on the 12th, a quad scrimmage. What are you hoping to get out of that? Hit somebody else besides your own teammates for a change? Uh, yes, that's the first goal. Um, just as a team, I, w I want to be able to see, like, we got a bunch of seniors, as you know, and I'm pretty sure all of them are going to play. So we just have a few guys that aren't a senior and they don't have that little bit of experience. Well, and offensively, I think I want to see Trent Heights, our quarterback, do well, and our defense only has two non-seniors, I think we'll do well, but we just want to be at the best of our ability. Yeah, Travis, talk about Trent a little. He seems to be in line to start at quarterback early on right now, just as sophomore. What have you seen out of him so far in, in camp? Well, at the beginning, we had a camp early in the summer, and he did real good there. He's just progressively, you can see the experience is coming along. Seven on sevens, his arm got stronger. Earlier, well, last Friday, we had our first day of two days, and he made some throws that I hadn't seen him make before. He's just getting better and better. I'm expecting big things out of him. He's playing really well right now. Coach, are you excited about Trent at the quarterback position at this moment? Well, I am, um, just for the fact that, you know, we got a great guy to replace from last year. Grant Sherman was an awesome quarterback, and uh, Trent, or whoever we do end up being in there, we've got a great, uh, a great competition going on, but Trent can move. You know, he can move pretty well. And, uh, you know, I think he's gotten better over the summer. And, uh, you know, we, I've been kind of hard on him. We're really pushing him as hard as we can. And, uh, you know, it, it's a big, big shoes to fill when you talk about being a Kenton quarterback. So. All right, Grant Sherman going on to play at Toledo. A lot of D1 talent to replace on this Wildcats roster, but this gang is up for it.
Time for a break on the warm-up. When we return, Andy Lynch returns with some more Wildcat players. One last time on the Cat and Moose Family Center for 428 Pigskin Preview. It is the warm-up alongside... Matt Finkel, I'm Andy Lynch, and we're with three of the defensive guys, Jake Hale in the middle there, Trevor Downing down at the end, and Austin Phillips sitting to my right. How is this defensive line coming together, Austin? Uh, I think we're going to do pretty good. We have three returning starters from last year, and the one kid we're looking at to be the fourth D lineman for us uh, lettered last year and got in at least once every, one drive every game. Kenton obviously is known for the offense. Defense gets overshadowed sometimes until you're pretty good. And then, oh, this Kenton defense is good. You know, you like kind of being in the shadow there for a little bit? Uh, I don't know about these two, but I kind of like it because I feel like teams might not prepare for us as much as they do for our offense and kind of overlook us. How do you feel about that, Jake? Uh, I think this year we're going to do pretty good. Um, as you said, we got the three returning starters. Uh, we just got to keep learning, keep doing what we can do to get better every day. Seven on sevens, what's it mean to, to the defense during the summer? I mean, we, we see who wins or what kind of numbers are put up. But from a defensive perspective, what does it mean for you guys? Well, as a secondary standpoint and with the linebackers, who's the main seven and seven on seven, right. you really get used to getting in your drops. You get a good, good job of getting your reads on your quarterbacks, your you're working as a team, getting good team bonding, team chemistry, you really come together as a unit. Do you look forward, though, to the getting big guys up in front and yeah, 11 you, on 11 here? In, in seven on sevens, they get four seconds. You know, with these kind of guys up front, they, they don't usually get that long to throw the ball, so it's nice. There you go. How about Coach Fackler stepping in? Most of the staff is back, if not all of it. Uh, does it feel the same, basically? I would say that not much has changed. I mean, a different difference here or there, but sure. he's kept it a lot of the same, and it's same coaching staff, same players, nothing's going to change. A lot of the same for you as well, Austin? Yeah, we, uh, Coach Fackler might have moved around a little bit, mm -hmm. but we have the same D-line coach we've had since Jake and I were freshmen. So I know for at least from the D-line, nothing's changed. You guys are seeing some new quarterbacks here as you put pressure in two-a-days. How are those guys looking from your perspective, Jake? Um, I think they're looking pretty good. They still, uh, two days is a learning period, yeah. so they got to keep building on other things. And so far, it's looking pretty good. You guys batting some balls down so far? Yeah, we've got a couple of them down today. <laughs> Austin, these next couple weeks, you know, what, what do you try and get better at before that first scrimmage? What's Kenton really focusing on right now? Um, I know from a defensive standpoint, we're putting a lot of work in just effort. Okay. Effort finishing each play. You have to run to the ball, pursuit. Mm -hmm. We have to make sure we never give up because team, the other team doesn't score, you win, especially with our offense. Trevor, let's finish up with cold water week one. Always a great battle. What are you looking forward to about that one this year? Uh, same as always. It's, it's always a competitive game. You get, they have great players. We have great players. Hopefully it can be a lot like last year where it's a low-scoring game. The defensive gets to shine a little bit instead of those, those guns, those high-scoring battles. That high flying affair with cold water will be here at Robinson Field. That'll be on WOSN. And then week two, how about a Western Buckeye League opener with Wapa Kinetta headed here to Hardin County? For Matt, my name is Andy Lynch. Thanks for joining us on the warm up. Here at